You do have one of the top uh, thoroughbred stud farms in one of the top ten in, in South Africa. Um, how fair is it? Do you think that your passion for that now exceeds the passion for golf? And I, I ask that because a couple of people that I've talked to have said as much. Yeah, if you said, what do I love more now, golf or horses? Uh, I would say horses because I'm not active on the tour. I play some tournaments and I played with Jack Nicholas in several tournaments this year and we did very nicely and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I love to play golf. I, I represent companies and I go and play with their customers. I love it and I love to play golf, but uh, I had 62 years of it and um, I'm not fully active anymore. But if you said in your heyday, in golf and in horses, it's a tie. A tie? A tie. I wow. mean, it's phenomenal to, to take a stallion and take a mare and put them together and try and beat a baby that could be a world champion that's worth $30 million. I never made $30 million in my life on the golf tour. But I've got a chance to do it in the horse business. And to study the genetics and to watch these athletes, the greatest athlete in the world ever, is a thoroughbred racehorse. Your property. How much time will you take off each year to just be able to work on the farm? Well, I used to travel uh, 11 months of the year and then take a month off. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I might go back to South Africa and uh, take two weeks off. But I've been a workaholic. And even today, I'm a workaholic. But I'm also a holidayaholic. On my ranch, it's one of the most beautiful ranches in the world. I have my own nine-hole golf course. I have a game reserve. The nine-hole golf course is in the game reserve. And I have thoroughbred racehorses. And there's no pollution. 124 species of birds, which I can call them. I can call birds and they actually come. I talk to them. People think I'm a nut. They don't believe it until they see it. And it's a life that is just incredible. Uh, and this is your uh, ranch or farm in uh, South live. Africa. How many acres is it? And what do you do on it besides, uh, obviously, golf? Yeah. Because there's so much more that you do. We have 3,400 acres plus minus, And I raise thoroughbred racehorses. Right. And then we grow alfalfa. We grow uh, hay like Timothy hay. And we have some cattle. And we have some sheep. Um, we have skeet shooting. Um, we have a, a variety of things that we farm with, but the main thing is thoroughbred racehorses. You see, the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man, and it's very similar to golf. It's a lifetime study, and I study genetics, I would say, over the year, at least an hour a day. And golf and horses, I know a hell of a lot about nothing. Why do you find being on the ranch therapeutic? Well, when you live in cities, you see, if I lived in New York or Shanghai or Beijing or London, I'd live for two years and I'd be dead. I couldn't live like that. It'd be like in solitary confinement for me. I've got to have fresh air where I can get on a horse and swallow the wind. And I've got to wake up in the morning and hear birds. I've got to be able to see sunsets. I've got to be able to dive in my dam and swim in natural dam water. I've got to be able to take a shovel and shovel and clean out stables. I've got to be with my dog, who if I kick him in the butt or I leave him in the rain, the next morning he loves me. Imagine finding a wife like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lucky. Although I've been you've been very 57 lucky. Years, right. 57 years. But uh, nature is God. And you see, so many people, unfortunately, never experience it. So they don't know. That's so sad.